So next, let us look at what will happen in the case of spherical. As we can see in the case of spherical robot, we have the moments r, theta, phi. For the first three joints, it is going to be r, theta, phi. First joint is phi, the second is theta, and the third one is r. So how, how do we reach at this particular, based on this, we have to see in the case of spherical coordinates. So here, the original NOA axis was at the origin and from there it first moved uh, translatory distance in Z direction. So let me write, with respect to R, the transmission matrix, the transformation matrix of P will be, let us write it as spherical robot so it is going to be r theta phi and it is going to be based on the three movements the first movement is in z direction it will move at distance of r so it will move from zero all the way it will reach here let us say that this is r and then that point will move so first i will write so it is going to be all pre multiplication so first it will going to be translatory so translatory in z direction so there is nothing in zx there is nothing in y in z direction it is going to be r pre multiplied the next movement will be it is going to come in this particular direction so the vector basically moves from uh, what do you say let me draw it properly so it will move from z axis it will tilt down and that angle is going to be theta angle and then from that so that that i can write it as it is going to be a rotation e with respect to so that is when we are turning the y axis in the anti clockwise direction that is when this r distance that we have gone in z direction that will turn theta so this is this is what we are turning like we are catching y and we are turning it so that the point reaches here so that is rotation in y direction positive angle theta why because it is anti clockwise when we look it from y direction then it will move from there it will you know it's if i am going to draw its what do you say its projection in x axis it will be here then i am going to move this vector and turn it and turn it and bring it all the way up to point p so that point p i am bringing by actually turning that in this much angle which angle i am going to turn it in phi angle in which direction it is turning in the rotating with respect to z axis i am going to turn so i am going to write it as rotation with respect to z axis angle phi and we know how to write so now i will write that the matrix will look something like let me write it very clearly for the rotation with respect to z i can write c5 because it's angle 5 c phi minus sin phi sin phi cos phi 0 0 1 0 0 that is the rotation part with uh, scaling factor of 0 there is no translatory motion so this is going to be the matrix for rotation with respect to z axis an angle of phi next rotation with respect to y axis so with respect to y it will come something like this cos this is angle not phi but it is theta so c theta 0 sin theta 0 1 0 minus sin theta 0 cos theta then scaling factor of 0 and then finally there is no translation in any direction because it is rotation with respect to y so that ends the matrix there the third is translatory with respect to r so there is no orientation change so it is going to be 0 0 0 0 0 0 to make it as an identity matrix with 
scaling factor of 0 and only translation in z direction so 0 0 z uh, sorry 0 0 r with 1 and if we multiply all this we will get so let me write in the next page so when we multiply all of this we will get the t spherical for the case of a spherical robot which is having a moment of r theta phi I will get the total matrix if I multiply what we have written just now there I will get cos theta into cos phi cos theta into sin phi minus sin theta 0 the next one will be minus sin, t, uh, sin phi cos phi 0 with a scaling factor of 0 then sin theta cos phi sin theta sin phi cos theta 0 and finally it will be r sin theta cos phi r sin theta sin phi and then r cos theta with a scaling factor of 1. This is going to be the transformation matrix for a spherical robot for positioning the wrist not the wrist actually just before the wrist so positioning the cylinder the spherical robot at a position p defined by r theta phi